Alright, hey, Sinja here, coach of the German Journal Freaks, and as you can see, today, we are here for the draft analysis for the Monotype Draft League Season 2, um, Amethyst Division, which is the corner, I think. I have no idea. We are Amethyst Division, or A Division, I guess. And this is the Monotype Draft League. As you can hear and see, it is a Monotype Draft League. What is Monotype? Simple. Each coach drafts one type and then can only use Pokemon of that set type. And no dupes, no doubles, and etc. So, I think it's National Deck Steel Silver Legacy. I don't know for sure. I'm new here. They have some odd rules. The point system as well is odd. Each type gives you uh, less or more points depending on what matchup you have. So, for example, if you draft Grass, you get a three points more total or something and if you face off against fire and you win you get more differential points than if you face off against water it's a little bit confusing I don't know how it exactly works yet we'll have to see I guess it's my first time here so we'll just have to wait and see so without further ado let's just jump in with the roster ah uh, yeah we have of course the type then a tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 3, tier 4, tier 5, 4 free slots and a mega. So 11 things, 12 things to draft. The type of course always goes first and as I said, um, no type can be drafted twice. We were 10 coaches so 8 types were, are going to be left out and 10 are going to be drafted. And yeah. And then you are required to draft a one of each tier. 2 tier 3s and then 4 free bonds for the leftover points which are I think 500 or so, I don't know. And then the mega slots, so basic stuff. Starting off, I drafted the ghost type. Why? Ghost is my favorite typing. It's one of the best types in my opinion, being only weak to 2 types, one of it being itself. Resisting 2 types, poison and bug which aren't perfect types, but uh, it is a uh, the ghost type offensively is also only resisted by dark and it's only weak to dark apart from ghost but because I have the ghost type I will be the one who has the most ghost so I don't have to worry as much about opposing ghosts or an entire ghost mono team. However, the other types that got drafted were um, fairy, dragon, flying, ground, psychic which is good for me. Um, Normal, which is 50-50 because normal doesn't match up well against me, but I don't match up well against normal because night offers can hit us with our stabs. I don't know why night offers get extra points for winning because it is a tough matchup because night offers can hit each other with our stabs and so it's a pretty disadvantageous matchup. For some reason I get extra points if I face off against fighting, psychic and... um. What was the third one? Psychic fighting and let me check real quick because I forgot. Um, psychic fighting and and, and... bug. I don't know why because I'm in the advantage against all three of those, so I have no clue why I get two extra points for them because I'm effective against psychic. I should be. I'm in the advantage against it. I'm in the advantage against fighting because it, that stab can't hit me. And I'm in the advantage against bug because I'm resistant to bug. So like, huh? I, 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 I get the 5 extra points for dark because dark is the main counter for ghost. And there is a dark coach in this league, which is my good buddy IAC, IAK Ben. He drafted Dark and that's gonna be tough for me because Ghost doesn't have good matchup against Dark. Because the only two Ghosts that match up well against Dark type diversity speaking are Mimikyu and Marshadow. And Marshadow is banned <laughs> because it's too broken sadly. So I have tough times against Dark. No idea why Psychic Fighting and Bug give me extra points. If somebody knows please let me know because I have no clue. Because I match up well against all three of those, so like I should get less. I should actually get less points from those. I should get more points from normal because I don't match up well against normal. 
Anyway, Ghost is goated. I love Ghost. And yeah, two immunities. Immunity to trapping. Only two resistances, only two weaknesses, and two types that I hit effectively, one of them being Psychic. So, all in all, pretty good type. And also, this most one of the most spammable steps. Spammable, spammable steps, yeah. Also, I was picked number seven. <coughs> oh, voilà. Moving on. My first pick is, of course, Mimikyu. Because, as I said, Mimikyu is my only counter for Dark. Because it's Fairy type. And that matches up well against Dark. Machado is banned, so I can't pick that, so Machado is my only hope for facing off against Dark, well, without getting swept entirely. So yeah, true horror, the Machado. Tier 2, 120 points. And yeah, mainly here to counter Dark. Overall, it's still a pretty good Pokemon because it still can hit really hard, has decent coverage, and this guy's while being nerfed, is still a good ability. Moving on, we have... My third pick. Wait. Ah, oh, damn it! I made a mistake. <laughs> Ignore the rounds because they are messed up. This is round three. Pick twenty-four. Goblin boy. Sixty points. Tier four. Sableye. Now, why do I have Sableye? Easy. Prankster is goaded, and I love Prankster because Prankster is good. I think regular Sableye is better than Mega Sableye. Yes, Magic Bounce is good, but I just prefer Prankster over Magic Bounce. Especially on Sableye, because Sableye has really good coverage um, utility moves with like Encore, Will O Wisp, Thunder Wave, I believe, Recover, especially. And so it's my bulky little boy and my Dark Resistance, one of my Dark Resistances mainly. Also, not resistance, neutrality. A dark and ghost neutrality is pretty nice. So yeah, Sable it is. Moving on, we have Ghostly Aurea, the Aurea Sensu form. Yes, I'm only allowed to use the Sensu form and I drafted it because it's a flying type. It gives me a defogger with recovery, which is very important because Ghost doesn't have good hassle removal and especially not good recovery. So I'm picking up any recovery I can get to get some more longevity. Sableye with Recover, Mimikyu with Drain Punch, and Oricoria with Roost. All of which, very good. Overall, Oricoria is still also decently bulky, and can do some pretty good things. And yeah. Moving on. We have Mysterium, the Runerigas. One of my favorite ghosts to use on draft, because it's just so good. 145 defense and 120 or something special defense are really good. Typing as well, free immunities, one of against normal fighting and electric. Sets up rocks and sets up T spikes, and overall it's just boogie, a chunky boy that can do dish out some really hard damage or just do some utility stuff. Sadly, no recovery outside of rest, but that's okay. It's still a chunky boy, and Runa Vegas as tier 3 is still pretty good. Mainly going to be my hazard setter for rocks and T spikes if I need them, and if I need a ground type, of course. Moving on, we have my wish check the Jellison because Draco Wish is allowed in this league, which I'm heavily against because I hate Draco Wish, and in my opinion, that thing just clicks Fisher's Rand and everything dies. So I have Jellison to not die to Fisher's Rand. <laughs> That's all I have Jellison for, really. I saw. Draco Wish is allowed? Okay, I'm picking Jellicent. <laughs> so here's my wish check. Because it has water absorbed, so I don't have to care about Fisher's Rent, because I just can switch into Jellicent and probably die to a crunch. And then die to a Fisher's Rent, because, yeah. Pff, because Draco Wish is broken. And Water type at least. And they have it at Istia 2 as well, so that's crazy to me. First ever league where I see Draco Wish as tier 2, and it's just insane. It's just insane, let's be real. But yeah. And the f best thing is someone has water and draft a Draco Wish, so... <laughs> my wish check actually probably comes into use, so... Uh, yay. I'm looking forward to face the broken beast that is Wish. In a rain team. How balanced. Yay. And yeah, I don't have Jellison for any other reason other than having a wish check, so... That's Jellicent. Then we have Omega, Dolly, the Mega Bayonet, which I used a couple of times already. Two times to be frank, frankly. And Mega Bayonet is pretty good. Prankster, 
is goaded. It has a 165 attack stat. Sadly, not many attack moves, physical moves that it can abuse, but it still has some good utility. Especially Prankster Destiny Bond is really, really good. Prankster Willowist, Prankster Toxic, Prankster Taunt, Prankster Cotton Guard, Car Mind, Rest, etc., etc., etc. And especially its priority moves in Shadow Sneak and Sucker Punch do hit really hard because of its slow speed. And are pretty good because of its slow speed tier, speed tier. so Mega Bandit hitting really really hard, so yeah. You also notice that the round and pick number doesn't change because I picked all of these at once because we established a nice nice rule that says if if the rest of your team can't get sniped by anybody else you can just finish your entire team. And the only monster could get sniped were Mimikyu, Runerig, Sableye, Oricorio and Jalicent. So I drafted them first and then are now finishing up my team. So moving on we have Miss Magius, which if you are watching this channel for some time, you know Miss Magius is one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon, top 5 favorite Pokemon actually. My favorite ghost type, one of my most little of Pokemon. I adore Miss Magius and Miss Drivers. They are so adorable, beautiful and cute. I love them. And so viable as well. Miss Magius coverage is insane and it's really helpful in monotype because I can just bring Miss Magius every week and every time I have a single I have a different set or different coverage and it's still viable because 105 is decent speed here and as I said it is really good coverage. I named her Beauty Witch because I'm burning out of names for my Miss Magius so if you have, if you have just, just uh, suggestions for a better name for Miss Magius leave let me know in the comments below and I may choose one because because I'm not really too happy with the name, but I can't really think of anything else, so yeah. I love Miss Magius. Then you have Delmise, Anka Mitrad. Why do I have Delmise? Easy. It's the only Ghost Rapid Spinner. So I wanted a spinner because I am the one who has Ghost and I'm the one who is spin blocking people here, so I can pretty much freely spin against everybody, kinda, so. Delmice is really good. Also still has good attack and special attack. And really good coverage actually. And recovery as well in synthesis. So all in all pretty nice. Then we have my tier 1. The Knuller! Blissephalon. Which I had to pick. I don't like Blissephalon too much because fire doesn't do much for me. I guess, I guess it helps me against steel, but I don't really struggle with steel because it doesn't resist me. But still, Blissephalon is a hard-hitting um, glass cannon and so it's still pretty nice. Can still late game sweep people and yeah. I didn't pick Dragapult because I'd like Dragapult even less than Blissephalon and got snapped anyway, so I don't care too much. So Blissephalon it is, 107 speed tier is still pretty nice and yeah. It's just gonna come in and claim kills and stuff, so yeah. Moving on, we have Nervensäge, the Rotom. Why is it called Nervensäge? Well, it doesn't really matter because nobody will know what it means anyway, so ignore it. It's Rotom. And it's Rotom. Uh, I picked it because it's an electric type and because it is Defog. <laughs> That's really all it is. It's an electric type with Defog and Volt Switch, which is pretty nice. Decent speed here as well, I think, if I remember correctly, 90 or something, I don't know. It should be higher because it's really fast and it's plasma. It's a plasma ghost, so please, it should be fast. But yeah, still a really good Pokemon and has some meh courage. But yeah, and lastly, we have Ice Queen, the Frostless, one of my favorite ghosts as well, and one of my MVPs, or my MVP in the first monotype league I had, which was also Ghost, where uh, it did really really well, it was my kill leader with like 7 or 9 kills, so jeez. Frostless is also, like Miss Magius, really good, good speed tier, not as good as special, not the good special attack that Miss Magius has sadly, but pretty similar coverage, so still nice, also gives me a spike coverage is nice. And one thing I like about Ghosts is that most of my team has access to Destiny Bond, which is pretty nice because if you if my Ghost outspeeds you and you attack me, you always run the risk of me Destiny Bonding and you losing a Pokemon as well. <laughs> so that's one thing I like about Ghosts. They are very mischievous and very hard to play against because you always have to be on guard of what they are going to do because 
if I if you let me destiny bond one of your main breakers or sweepers then you have a problem because then my pillar suffer one just comes in and kills you. <laughs> so yeah, I screen the Frozzlers. I love Frozzlers, and it's gonna match up well against Dragon, which is which has been drafted. I didn't really try to counter team any of the teams because I don't care really much. I just pick ghosts that I like and know are viable. And didn't I try to not have too many um dual types? With that I mean too many types that um. Um, da, 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 too many dupes, let's say that. Apart from Mono Ghost with, with um, Miss Manages and Bayonet, because I don't, because I said I wanted regular Sableye or Mega Sableye, and the only other Ghost Mega is Bayonet. Well, it's also Gengar, but Mega Gengar is uh, banned, so it's Bayonet, and I'm always gonna draft Miss Manages in any Ghost team I draft because it's my favorite Ghosts. Of course, I'm gonna draft it. <laughs> Jeez. But oh, that's not all. We also have something here. Shout out to Ben, one of my p pals. He made this for me, and it's a cool college, I have to say. If you're wondering why a giraffe rig is on the um, page as well, it's my mascot, so... Of course it's there. He also added a ghostly aura thing around it, which is pretty cool because it um, complements the type I drafted. Which is fun as well because Giraffe Rig is a psychic that is immune to ghosts because of its normal type. <laughs> I like that. So here can you can here you can see the team. Uh yeah. Leave a comment in the description below what you think about the team, what you think about the names, and how you f how well you think how you think how how well I can English. Just leave comments, leave a like, leave a sub, and yeah. I love ghosts. I don't know what it says about me, but hey, I love ghosts. Okay? And yeah. I don't know what else to say, so I'm just gonna stop here and goodbye. Give me my OBS, please. Thank you.